Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Sagitnet2. Today's episode, water cooling pipes. As you can see, I got these two pipes laid out here. This one is for H22 and this is for F23. As you can see, there is really is a big difference between these two. There are three places where you can join this together, which is one here. I've done it in the past. I did it right here and right here and also here. I would like to say something about welcome to all my new subscriber and also my OG subscriber. Thank you for your support, watching my videos, leaving comments. Both of these water pipes have two outlets. One is for the heater, which is this one here. And, and this one, it goes, I'm not sure where this one goes for F23 because I don't have a 98 to 2000 Honda Accord. So I don't know where this one leads to. But the H22, this one right here, this one goes to, or it connects to the oil cooler. If I am using a oil cooler for this block, I will tie it up to that one. And then the other one, tie it up to that one right there. Open this up or weld the pipe here or thread the pipes right here and then connect it through there. If you are building a boosted motor and if you're thinking of using a water cooling lines for your turbo, right there, keep this one. Return, just think of a place where you could tie it in, either on your thermostat housing, just put a teeth fitting on there or something. So yeah, just think about this one. And for this port right here, you can always connect a hose on this and then plug the other end. Or if you have a welding equipment, just weld this shut completely and you'll set to go. Since I'm not running a, a turbo here, this is an NA setup. And that's where I'm going to cut this right here, right in the middle, right there. So my two clamps will be here and here. This one, I'm gonna cut it off right here. I'll cut this completely. I just eyeball the mounting holes and that's where I'm gonna cut it. We're gonna polish it later on. Get rid of the sharp area. Let's try this. I'm going to put the thermostat housing that way I will have the precise alignment of the tubing I installed the o-ring for the uh, thermostat housing side because I want to uh, make sure everything is correct and for this side it has a uh, stopper on there so I can just put it on as so All right, all I need to do is put the mounting bolts. Just need to pull it out just a little bit. Secure it in place. Okay. Right there. I'm a little bit off. Yeah. Okay. 
That's okay. Remember, it has a hose. And we'll see how it look afterwards. I trim it up a little bit and also polish it. Get rid of all the uh, sharp edges. Yeah, it will do. See that gap? For the hose, let me just measure it a little bit. Right about here. Yeah, that will do. This is the continuation of the H22 and F23 water coolant pipe that will be connected or joined together. And man, I tell you, would I have a quick tip for you on how to put this hose onto here? This is the second time that I've done this. The first time I don't remember being this hard, but somehow, man, it's crazy. Whew. That is just how far I can get that hose on there. I said earlier, do I have a quick tip for you? Nothing. <laughs> the only thing I have is a blister and the skin came off, man. I'm not gonna remove it or anything, but, it, <laughs> but it's from here to there, the whole area of the band-aid, man. That is from twisting this thing. I got this in the vise and <laughs> I tried everything. I put oil, Vaseline, I even tried warming the hose. I think somehow warming the uh, hose a little bit, it made a difference and I was able to turn it. But doing so, the blister, the skin, I was wearing a gloves also. And yeah, somehow I scraped off my skin, man. It really hurts. <laughs> but uh, I think this will do. The hose will not go anywhere. The only way that the hose will go, it's either go tighten itself in more because the, the two corners is secured. So there's no place for, uh, there's no room for the hose to, uh, to go anywhere. Not unless it bursts, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna use a clamp for this. And tighten and secure it with this. That's, I think this will work. Yeah, I don't remember being this uh, this tight, but man, I tell you, I gave up yesterday. I said, you know what? Let me uh, take some breather, man. I'm gonna tighten it some more once it uh, gets on the block. So this one here, I know how much gap I have but I'm going to cut the hose right about right here. So this will go off there like so. And now I got a new seal. This is from Honda. I don't know why they don't have <laughs> the logo or those tracking number and all that but I guess you gotta trust them I guess maybe some alternate number or something or alternate manufacturer or something a different manufacturer maybe Okay, I'm gonna leave it loose. And that's a new seal. Put some extra lubrication on there. And this one too.
need to line up the mounting holes. Right there. Huh. Look like my mounting hole got met. I have to fine tune or uh, do a little massage. It's because of uh, it's hitting the uh, the oil pressure switch, and I have to remove the knock sensor, which is I don't need the knock sensor anyway, so that's okay. Uh, I ended up using a washer, thick washer right here. Yours might be different. What happened is I ended up tweaking this bracket and I could not put it back from where it was. I think this is the best I can do without this cooling pipe hitting something. Okay, right there. All right, <laughs> I'll just cut this off. Let me tighten this. It's tight, it's tight. good everything's secured these two clamps are tight I got space there as you can see this is good right there it's all jammed up in there so it's not going anywhere even though there's only a little bit of a hose that went in about half an inch or so I don't think that hose is going anywhere for some of you that don't like doing this the G23 water cooling pipe is available now you just have to uh, check out their website I'm not sponsored by them I just happened to saw it uh, at the, I believe it was trucktuff.com for some of you guys that don't like connecting two hoses together you can have it welded if you like I got mine right about in this section so it's really it's up to you I chose to do it here some people will do it here for this one here, I just need to make a hose, put a clamp on it, and then put a plug at the end. And this one here, I ended up using a one washer, a spacer. So uh, when you do yours, yeah, just look it up. Make sure it's not touching any of the uh, sensor. Or if you do need the uh, knock sensor, make sure it's not on the way. And this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Bye everyone. See you on the next episode. Uh, the junkyard hunt. <laughs>